Welcome to Peep This Out Reviews with Ian K. Stay frosty. Hey everyone, it's another Cheaters Cam edition of Peep This Out Reviews, this time back at the same Taco Bell test location here in Irvine, California, where I first checked out their Midnight Melt Taco a couple of months ago. And now it looks like something else is cooking, and as you can see, it involves a definite fan favorite on the Taco Bell menu. So let's go in on the currently in test Triple Lupa, and if you guys are getting a serious sense of Subway Deja Vu like I am right now, you wouldn't be wrong to feel like that. This really does look like it's a Subway sandwich done the Taco Bell way, but obviously it is a Chalupa, as you guys can see. All the usual ingredients that a chalupa has, minus the sour cream, are on display here. We've got plenty of shredded cheese, we've got plenty of lettuce, tomatoes, seasoned ground beef, and a three cheese blend. But actually, the main draw with this one, and as you can see, it's got three pull apart mini chalupas that actually feature something a little different on each side. We've got one side that supposedly has chipotle sauce, we've got one that actually has nacho cheese sauce, and if I swing over to the very end here, I'm guessing it's gonna be this one right over here. And in the very middle is the combination of both. So pretty cool gimmick on this one. And it's, like I said, it's about a foot long in length and it looks really cool in this box. I got to admit, this looks really, really neat. Let's see if this one delivers overall. I think the flavors are going to be fairly familiar. It's the currently in test Triple Lupa here at Taco Bell in Irvine, California. Let's peep out this flavor. You know, you might as well call this a Chalupa party pack because that's exactly what this feels like right now. Let's dive in. Okay, now I could easily just pull one of these sides apart here just to get started, but where is the fun in that? I mean, it's not every day you get to bite into a foot long Chalupa. Let me just lift this whole thing up for you guys. Take one last look at that here. Let's go for the mystery bite. See what side is gonna be the cheesy side, which side is gonna be the Chipotle side. Here we go, the Triple Lupa currently in test at Taco Bell. Mm. Mmm, nacho cheese sauce, there it is. Yup, it's a chalupa, it tastes exactly as you'd expect it to with a little bit of extra nacho cheese sauce in that bite right there. That was pretty nice. Let me go for one more bite, then we'll go for that close up. Mmm. There was actually a lot more nacho cheese sauce in that second bite, and I gotta say, I'm loving that absolutely, guys. The Taco Bell flavors always shine through, and this is no exception. Obviously, it's a chalupa, it's Taco Bell's item, and definitely a fan favorite. Let's keep going. Looks like the back of the train pulled itself apart with that last bite, so let's go in on what's obviously gonna be the Chipotle side. Here we go. Mmm, Chipotle. Kind of smoky, actually. I mean, hey, it's a chalupa, it's tasty, right? And I do have to admit, a mini version of it is a very cool thing. These look like they're about maybe a two or three biter per, and it's actually not a bad deal considering you're getting three of them here. But I like the combination of all the flavors that I'm used to, the flavor of the chalupa bread itself, that outer flatbread, which is pretty awesome. It's got a light toastiness on the inside that goes very well with all the familiar Taco Bell ingredients anyway. But I'm gonna go for one more bite of this, guys, and then we're gonna get into the one that's supposed to have both of them together in the middle. Hang on one second again. I wanted you to see this before I bit into it because as you can see, it is loaded with nacho cheese sauce and there's definitely chipotle I can see from the back end over here. Hopefully it's gonna mix together in the very middle of it right there, but I gotta say, I am already loving what I'm looking at right now on the screen and I hope you are as well. Taco Bell ingredients on deck for sure with this one. Cheesy goodness. And I got meat falling out the back of this thing ridiculous right now. This is gonna be the one to go for by far. Here we go. Mm. Mm-hmm. Oh man. So much nacho cheese sauce, a little smoky from the Chipotle, and then plenty of that familiar Taco Bell beef that we all know and love. And I have to admit, the only thing that I'm missing on this is a little bit of sour cream, because right now, there's a little bit of sizzle in the background from the Chipotle, nacho cheese sauce is there, but I'm missing the little coolness and the creaminess of that. I think they should add that overall. It would really round this one out, but guys, really, really tasty. And like I said, mini form. You gotta love the mini form of these things. Pretty neat. So I gotta say, this actually feels like a double chalupa's worth of meat by far, and I think it really needs to be at least that much to really kind of fill this one out. As you guys can see, there is plenty of it all throughout this one here, and the middle is easily the bite to go with there. The other two on the sides are just chasers to get you to this main event. Really, really cool gimmick on this one, I have to admit, and I really hope this one goes national. It is super fun to eat. Well, I gotta admit, I wouldn't mind having a mini chalupa once in a while, but honestly, I think the idea of having just each side having a different type of sauce should really just be across the board the same. Naturally, the very middle is the best part of that by far, and for obvious reasons. They should just make it blanket across the board, have the chipotle, have the cheese sauce, add a little bit of sour cream, and that would be the ultimate party pack on the go. 
Pretty cool gimmick though, I have to admit. And it's super fun to eat that way. So with that said, I'm gonna have to give the currently in test Tripalupa here at Taco Bell in Irvine, California, a pretty decent 8.3 out of 10. All they need to do with this one, based upon my opinion of what you just heard, is simply keep all the nacho cheese sauce and chipotle the same across the board. And again, add that sour cream in there because I'm telling you, if you guys are sharing this with somebody, someone's gonna be upset because everyone's gonna want that middle piece. Keep it the same across the board. It's definitely better that way. But hey, that's just what I thought of this one based upon trying it for the very first time on camera right now in front of all of you. But what do you guys think? Drop some comments down below and let me know your thoughts on this particular one along with how you think you would probably want to see this one improved. And more importantly, do you want to see this one go national? Drop those comments down below and definitely let me know. And with that, this is Ian K closing out another episode of Peep This Out, After Hours Cheaters Camp Style, bringing you brand new content every single week here on my channel. So why you stay tuned for the next review coming real soon. In the meantime, stay frosty. All right, I think I'm gonna have to save the box on this one because when's the last time you saw anything that resembled a Subway sandwich from Taco Bell? This is actually pretty cool. All right, guys, until next time, I'll talk to you soon.